All right, here's a couple of videos from this weekend in New Mexico. Uh, what I came across is these ruts were being made by 80 riders and riders that maybe weren't the same speed as me. So as you know, going to tracks, you come up across uh, different lines and different sections that were set up by people riding different speeds, and then that's kind of hard for you to adjust. Also, riding a new bike. So <clears throat> when you have these situations where things are coming to maybe be a surprise or some newness, try some different approaches. As you'll see, I stand up through the rut, I sit down through the rut, I keep my feet on through the, uh, the feet on through the ruts to find out what works through that section. Because you have to race every part of the track the way it's asking to be raced. Some parts aren't asking you to be aggressive. Some parts are asking you to be very slow, very patient, so you can get around it clean, and the cleanest way is the fastest way, because any any faster than what you're going will cause a mistake, a bobble, or a crash. So you might as well just slow down, right? <clears throat> so that's the thing, is trying to find different approaches to different sections and not just doing it one way. I try to get my riders, because racing to me is like a war. So I want my riders to go to war with as many weapons as they can. You want me to stand? No problem. You want me to sit? No problem. You want me to keep my feet on the pegs? No problem. You want me high gear? No problem. Whatever you want me to do, I can do because I practice it. I just don't do it one way. And that's where you see a lot of riders, they're one-dimensional riders by doing everything one way instead of having many different ways because, again, <clears throat> every track is going to ask you to do something different if it's a sand track, mud track, rough track, hard pack track. So this track was hard pack. So this was my favorite conditions. I love hard pack conditions. So the best way to come into the corner is one, you come in, you get into this braking position, which is arms up, back straight, hips out, as you see right here. My feet are going to be forward, of course, because I'm braking and shifting. But once I get done braking and shifting, I get back to my toes. Two, let off the brakes, come forward, outside arm up, inside foot out. Start to roll the gas on, start to let the clutch out. As that's happening, my inside foot is coming back onto the peg. As my inside foot comes back onto the peg, my hips rotate out, and I <clears throat> treat the exit of the corner like a start. One, I brake. Two, I roll. Three, I accelerate. Slow up three feet coming into the corner so you can have a, const, a, a clean roll. So then you can make 300 feet faster coming out of the corner. You get what I'm saying? So if you rush those three feet coming in, you're going to come to a pause or a stop, and then the exit is sacrificed, and motocross is an exit sport.